so I'm back with a tutorial finally I hear you say I know I'm so sorry I haven't done a tutorial in so long just been crazy busy with moving and work and just everything and blah 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 I know not too much of an excuse but it's all I have so today I'm going to do this lovely purple color which I think is great for going out and as it's now summer and going out is so easy to do now because nice weather woohoo yeah I think this is just perfect and to achieve this look you're not gonna believe it to achieve this look I used this okay these are the eyeshadows that I use I use all four of these and this white one here that's it these are all the eyeshadows that I use and the pigmentation I absolutely am in love with it like this this cost me two pound fifty £2.50. I think I actually bought this one as 50% off. So that cost me what? £1.75? No. I can't add. £1.25. This cost me. And look at this. It's freaking amazing. I am so in love with this right now. Yeah. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's from Elf. I'll put the link to their website down below. So yeah, if you want to know how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Hi guys. So I've already moisturised and primed my face. So uh, for that I use the Garnier Ultra Lift to moisturise my face. And I use the Revlon. This is called Photo Ready Perfecting Primer then to prime my face. So I'm just going to go in with foundation. And for that I'm going to use the number 7. This is in the colour Calico. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to take my Real Technique Techniques brush. Oh, I can never see that. Spray it with a little bit of water. And on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Okay, so unfortunately, and I have no idea why I'm breaking out in a lot of spots uh, the past few weeks. So to cover them up, I use the NYX Full Coverage, Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the colour Porcelain, because I'm so very pale. You know, like being Irish and all. The look of the Irish. So I'm just going to put that wherever I need that bit of extra help. And I'm just going to buff in. Very lightly using my brush. You can of course use your finger. I just use my brush. I'm gonna apologize now for whatever sounds you hear. I've got my door open. Like that. Okay, and for my under eye area, I like to use the Garnier Roll On, the anti dark circles. This is a tint of concealer in it, which I really like, and it just makes me look awake. Now I'm going to get my brush and just pop it slightly. Like that. Okay, and to set everything in place, I like to use the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and this is in Corrective Yellow. Ah, I love that it comes with a little puff. Little shake. And I'll start dabbing. And then get a brush to wipe away the excess. Okay, next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, and for that I use two things. This brush and this eyeshadow. I used to use two eyeshadows when my hair was a little bit darker, but since the summer has come in, my hair has brightened. So I'm just using the lighter shade on its own. So, there it is here. It's number 119. If you can get this shadow anywhere, let me know. You can get it in Ireland. Don't think you can though. I got it in Spain. And I love it. So just dab your brush in and just fill in your eyebrows. And 
and to set my eyebrows I used this, what used to be clear <laughs> mascara from Collection 2000. Okay, now for the eyes. Um, so to start off I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. This is one of my favourite primers. I'm just going to put it all over the eye. This is the more expensive primer on the e.l.f. website. And just to give my eyeshadow a little bit more oomph, I also like to use the Next Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. Again, let's put that all over. And land. A little bit under the eye. Okay, next we're going to take our lovely quad. I'm actually in love with this at the moment. This is the What's this called? Party Purple Quad from e.l.f. And I love it. The pigmentation is amazing and I get so many compliments when I wear my eyeshadow this way. So, I'm going to do one eye and I'll come back to you and show you how you do the next one. Okay, so as you can see I've got this eye done so I'm just going to show you how I did it. So, first of all we're going to take our quad and we're going to take this colour up the top here. It just says base on it and that's basically what it's going to be. So you're going to take your flat uh, shader brush. This is just, what's this called, a professional eyeshadow brush, just one from e.l.f. Put it in, tap off the excess and you're going to put it all over your lid, up to the brow bone. Okay, next you're going to take a fluffy brush. This is by number seven and you're going to take the third colour down. This is like a Cadbury purple, I suppose is the best way to describe it. And it says crease in it. And again, that's exactly where you're going to put it. Tap off the excess and just put that in your crease. bring it up as high as you want to bring it. And take a little bit under your lash line as well. Okay, next you're going to take a pencil brush like this and you're going to take the bottom colour now says line but I do not use that to line my eyes. You're going to put it in just the outer part just to deepen up that socket a little bit. And a little bit under. Literally just the very edge under the lash line. Then you're going to take a blending brush. This one is by Real Techniques and you're just going to blend that in. Okay, next you're going to take another uh, flat eyeshadow brush and you're going to take this colour here which says lid and that's where you're going to put it. Next you're going to take any white eyeshadow that you have, again I have another one from e.l.f, it's one of the single eyeshadows, this is called Sand Dollar and I have the small smudge brush here, it's going to get a little bit of that white and put it in the inner corner of your eye, just to brighten things up a little bit. Okay, next time to line your eyes, and I'm using this one. It's the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner by Collection 2000. It's like this. Very popular, and it's just one of those marker ones. 
and you're going to line it very close to the line. Now, obviously, if you want, you can make this line really thick, but I'm leaving it quite thin and a dramatic flick. Okay, next I'm going to curl your lashes. I'm just using this one here from e.l.f. And you're going to add some mascara. Next I'm going back in with that jumbo eye pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline. Okay, so that is it for the eyes and it's time to finish off the rest of the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour and what I'm going to use is this by Barry M. Let's move that. And it's called Natural Dazzle and I really like this uh, this bronzer. It's matte, like there's no shimmer in it whatsoever. So I'm just going to come in with this angled, it's an angled blush brush from e.l.f. I'm just going to switch the cheeks in. Find two balls. Okay, and because the eyes are so dramatic, I'm going to keep the blush simple. So I'm going to use this blush here. It's called Blushing. Again, it's by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take my stippling brush from Real Techniques. Lightly dab it in. Tap off the excess. And just on the apples of my cheeks and blend back. Okay, so for this look, it really is all about the eyes. So I'm going to keep it nice and natural and play down with the lips, which is not something I always do, but I want the focus to be all about the eyes in this look. So I'm going to use this lovely little pink lipstick by Revlon. It is uh, one of the Revlon, what's it called? The Color Burst Lip Butters. I'm using the color Sweet Tart. And it just looks like that. So I'm apply that to my lips. Okay, so that is it for the tutorial. Um, I really hope you liked it and thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, then I would really appreciate um, a thumbs up and also don't forget to, to subscribe. Um, at the moment, there is a competition going on. Um, I'll put the link to the video somewhere in this video. Um, yeah, just on how you can enter. Um, there's three ways you can enter on my Facebook page, here on YouTube and on my Twitter account. So I really hope that you enter the competition, it's for some free makeup. Woohoo! Everyone loves some free makeup. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!